Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Um, today I'm just having a wee quick play, it's just a wee quick card. I'm going to be using the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. I'm just doing a very simple, basically a hashtag simple stamping project. This comes with a die set as a bundle, Gorgeous Leaves and Intricate Leaves dies. These are fab, but we'll have a look at them another day. Just letting you know that if you buy a bundle, you get 10%. Also, it's got some really nice textured stamps. It's got these beautiful textured leaves and this little trio stamp with just three little leaves on it. It's just so cute. I'm going to use this leaf stamp today, the sort of wood effect stamp and a stamp from, I'm going to take the Best Wishes stamp from the Queen Anne's Lease. This is in the annual catalogue, this one's in the mini catalogue. I say it's just a wee quick one and it's one of those that I'll probably speed up for Instagram. So I've got a cinnamon cider card base here. I've got a scrap of Bumblebee, which is the length of the card, and it's 5.9 centimetres that way. And I've got this piece of very vanilla, which just fits nicely inside there. So firstly, I am going to put a bit of texture on my stamp. It's going to be a landscape. So I'm just, again, as I do quite often, I'm going to do some tone on tone stamping here. just on the edge because this is going to go over. Now I've just missed a wee bit so I'm just going to stick that there. And see that there? I'll just stick a bit more in there. And that's, so this is going to then go about there so we won't need any further. So it just adds a bit of interest. Oh yeah, I need this ink and I'm going to use Bumblebee. I have thought about this card. I haven't actually made it. I just cut the bits out and then decided to film it. So, hey, I hope you're okay. So, first of all, I'm going to... I'm just going to put three leaves on this. And first of all, I'm going to do the sentiment because then that helps me. So it's just best wishes because then I can use this for almost anything. I'm just going to pop this in the right-hand corner. And there you go, best wishes. So again, with cinnamon cider, I've ink up the leaf and I'm going to put it this way up. And I've made two little dots roughly halfway just, well, you know what I'm like for squint. So I'm going to try and get these straight. I love all the texture, it's just beautiful. This is my first play with this and then I'm going to take Bumblebee and this time I'm going to put the leaf in the space but that way up and then there come off <laughs> And there you go. That's all the stamping. I'm going to close up the ink. Just a cute little simple card. Showing off our gorgeous card stock. Where's my glue? Oh, my glue doesn't want to come out. I've been using it about five minutes ago. This is a scrap and it's got a bit dirty, but do you know what? It's not going to be seen, so I use that for this. I need this glue as well here. And then just glue that. It's a nice flat card, go through the post, no problem. The 
bit glue just to get it straight. I just thought I had some gems around somewhere, but I don't. Oh, I've got these. These, these um, matte decorative dots, I've got them. I'm not quite sure they're... Oh, do you know what I've got left here? Look. That's what I was looking for. Brush metallic adhesive. I've been using these a lot, but I just think the copper will work really well here. So I'm just going to... A wee copper dot there. One. Two. I'll just pop the other one up in that corner and voila a lovely card so there you have it thank you very much for watching please subscribe and please press the bell icon so you get notified when i'm coming on again thank you so much if you want to buy any of these products they are available from my uh, online shop which is jazzledazzle.stampinup.net or go to jazzle dazzlecraft.co.uk for further information. Thank you so much. Bye bye.